it, we've pulled it. Money's lifted, seat sick. I said to the kids, go, go, go. They all jumped in. I jumped in with the GoPro and then the GoPro wouldn't turn on. Good morning. It's Easter and the weather is amazing. So we've decided to opt out for a family lunch today and we are going to go and get some whale shark swims in. Hey babe. Yep. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can come across some whale sharks and swim with them. We haven't done it. Been wanting to do it since we got here. Let's get this little tinny out in this water and uh, give it a go. Swim with some. I'm so nervous. So to get in the water with the whale sharks, um, obviously you've got to go past the reef and it's about 60 to 100 metres deep and I'm just nervous about sharks but I just it's a lifelong dream bucket list thing I really want to swim with the whale sharks and I'm so excited so we're gonna take you along for the journey today let's go kids who's excited to go whale shark swimming hey. Hey. Oh. Hey, Lani's uh, on chocolate overload and now in a little bit of a grumpy mood. Peyton's excited. Kobe's excited. <laughs> Can you tell? Uh, setup's all ready to go. No shots, here we come. All right, we're just coming around the corner. We're about to see the water for the first time. It's We've seen water before, obviously, but we want to see if it's flat or rough. Oh, it's oh, capping. That wind doesn't drop off for another half an hour or so. I can see swell out there too. It's alright, it'll drop off. If the weather prediction is right, it'll drop off. Alright. Let's hope. Let's hope. She won't cap. If only we had a bigger boat. We wouldn't even have to worry about white capping. Well, we would. If only, Dad. If only. If only. Oh. Maybe one day. <laughs> Maybe one day. Uh, one day soon. One day very soon. <laughs> Stay tuned. There's a nice little turtle over here. It's not so little, it's quite big actually. <laughs> Well, we were just sitting here trying to find one and uh, a whale shark just literally just come up at the back of our boat. I said to the kids, go, go, go. They all jumped in. I jumped in with the GoPro and then the GoPro wouldn't turn on. Uh, if you know anything about the GoPro, sometimes you have to pull the battery out and put it back in to uh, reset it. And that's what happened. So I couldn't do that in the water. First whale shark that we swam with and I got no footage of it. No, I got some footage of you. But um, we're on the lookout for more and hopefully I'll get you some good footage. That was sick. You.
another one. We just jumped in, the GoPro worked. How sick is that? It just doubled back on us. Um, I tried keeping away from it. It just kept swimming closer to me, kept swimming closer to the kids. Swam underneath the boat. Twice, three times. Oh man, that was bloody awesome. Did you get any footage of the shark? Yeah, I did. And then there's that little shark following us at the end. I, I, Peyton didn't see it and I, I got her out of the oh, water. And then, um, yeah, so, and then the, it, it disappeared. It's amazing how fast they disappear. Like you spot them, you're in the water with them. As soon as you lose them, that's it, they're gone. But how bloody awesome. This is where we live. This is our backyard. Three different whale sharks. What a bloody experience. Happy Easter, guys. What an Easter present for these kids, eh? First swim with a whale shark. Let's hope we can uh, snag something on the way back. There's lots of bird action, lots of bait in the water with the whale sharks around. Uh, let's see what we can get. I'll let you know. Well, what a bloody mission that was to get back in here. Um, We've got the North Passage just to the north of us and the South Passage to the south of us. And uh, the South Passage was rough as guts. It was a little bit sketchy, especially in the tinny. Um, I had to cut along sideways and dodge waves and swell and stuff like that. But we got through there, incident free. Uh, we didn't catch any fish while we were trawling. I sort of gave up and uh, the kids were bored. So we just punched it in. Uh, that trip was a long way. That took us about an hour to get home. The wind wasn't right. The waves, the swell. It was all pretty rough, especially in the small little tinny. Um, so yeah, now we're back at the beginning where we first started where we were going to go for a snorkel. And uh, there's some beautiful spots around here. So we'll jump in and go for a beautiful dive. Let's do it.
Well, that was an epic little dive. <clears throat> um, current was ripping through. You stood still and you were 10 meters away. And um, it wasn't as clear as what it normally is. So the west side of Exmouth is uh, normally quite clear. It's actually quite dirty today, which is a shame. Um, but still got some good footage. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, we're heading back in now. We're uh, packing up and we're gonna head home. Day's done. Thanks for watching. Happy Easter. See you next one.